Hi, welcome to tdcat.com. You hear a lot about Handbrake being a really good tool for encoding. I've always used Adobe Media Encoder in the past because it just matched my output from Premiere. But I have started using Handbrake and I wanted to compare the two. How does Adobe Media Encoder compare to a, um, Handbrake with pretty much similar settings? So I've taken a clip, encoded it at a constant bitrate to try and match everything up as closely as possible, got two output files that are virtually identical in size. So let's go into Premiere and compare the two and see how they look. All right, so here we are in Premiere and here's our interesting clip of some trees. In this case, I've picked some trees because they have a lot going on in a frame at any one time. At any point, most of these leaves are moving, if only a fraction. And uh, for an encoder, that's a very difficult scene to do, particularly when they do all move a lot. So we've got four, four, uh, four clips here, actually. We've got the original, which is the ProRes clip. We've got the MP4 encode from Handbrake. We've got a one pass encode from Handbrake because I wasn't quite sure whether Adobe Media Constant Bitrate does one pass or two pass. So I did, gave it, did it both in Handbrake to make sure I was kind of like trying, basically doing an apples for apples comparison as much as possible. And then finally, this clip at the bottom is the Adobe Media Encoder clip. So we've got them all showing at the moment. So we can kind of obviously sort of turn them off and, sh and display the layer below. Uh, they're all totally matched up, of course, frame by frame, so they all show exactly the same thing. Uh, so let's find a section that's moving, where the leaves actually move. Um, it's quite slow, actually. I always find this with the CC. CC 2015 is, is really slow. So there we go. We've got a section there where, see, notice all the leaves move down in the frame, so there's a lot that actually happens at that point. There's a lot of changes. So we'll just take that clip there, and we're going to zoom into 100% because... Uh, it's probably a fairer way to look at it, which means that I can't see anywhere near as much on my on my rubbish um, 1920 by 1200 monitor. 5K all the way. <laughs> That's what I need. Yeah, right. Let's have a look. Right. So we've got this somewhere. The detail's pretty good. I mean, you know, it's a small sensor camera, so it's not fantastic, and it's not you know, it's only 1080, only shot at 1080p natively so uh, it's not going to be brilliant but that's the original and then there's the two pass in handbrake pretty good most of the detail is maintained there looks really good actually that very impressive i'm hoping youtube will actually allow this detail to remain because it's just static images i'm hoping you'll be able to see enough detail for uh, the point to be made that i'm trying to make here so there we go there's the two pass there's the one pass, still very good. Uh, a little, maybe a little bit of detail lost here. So I'll go switch to the, switch between the two. To be honest, yeah, okay, maybe maybe some detail lost there as well. But to be honest, it, it looks just different more than anything else, rather than actually worse. They just the two of them look different between the one pass and the two pass. Hmm. Anyway, that's a different discussion altogether. Now let's switch to Adobe Media Encoder. Okay. All right. Let's just ha let's just go back a step here. Look at the detail here. Look at the detail here. Look at the detail here. And look at the detail just everywhere, really. And take a look when I switch to Adobe Media Encoder. We've just got a washed, sort of a blurry, complete mash of colour here with every bit of detail lost. That's just incredible. I don't know if it's really fair to do a comparison like this because, you know, maybe Adobe Media Encoder is just not as good at constant bitrate encoding, which really isn't a good excuse. Uh, and equally, you wouldn't ever watch a video like this, would you? You'd never sit here and just pixel peep all these, all these uh, frames individually. But that does, you know, We've got. Look, just tell, I mean, tell you what. Let's just zoom in again to two hundred percent and look at a, look at the clip in a way that you never would. So we've got this here. These leaves with you can see sort of detail on these leaves. And let's switch to Adobe Media. Right, that's quite revealing. 
now we just have a leaf that is just green. And there. Pitch back. What a difference. So, okay, not a massively conclusive experiment, but it's enough evidence for me to think that it's worthwhile exporting to a lossless format or a, um, a uh, virtually lossless format like ProRes uh, to maintain the detail and then encode in a third-party application such as Handbrake. It's, it's like kind of one of those things you can really open up a can of worms with these kind of things where people have different experiences. And if you have, love to hear from you. Anyway, I'll catch you soon.